Yuri actually got on stream recently and said the following regarding his new outlook on streaming and what he wants to do because he's currently guess where yuri is at currently now he's in san francisco he actually drove up to san francisco um to maybe hang out with riley um to save their relationship to maybe just hang out with his friend who knows but he did say a very interesting thing during his live stream on his youtube slash kick account that somebody clicked here from the no jumper subreddit that's very interesting it might give us an insight into what the current state is of their relationship but it does seem like they're still together but maybe Riley has told Yuri, hey, I've got some conditions. If we stay together, I've got some conditions of how we go forward because I can't go back to where we were previously. It's it just like, yeah, I'm not going to be bringing anyone over there, basically. Other than like very, very close friends, you know what I mean? Like, unless it's like you're like Popo, House Phone, Blasi, Fall Lord. But like, I don't know, someone like actually fucking like know. It's like, I'm not going to... If I was living by myself, it'd be fuck it. You know what I mean? It'd be like, fuck it. But it's like, I'm not living by myself. It's like, I don't want Riley to fucking deal with with fucking the bullshit that like, you know, my streams can bring along with it. And it's just like, I'm like, bro, no, that's not, that's not cool. And I love how he never blames his own behavior for this. It's not his streams bring the drama, it's his behavior. He never considered Riley's feelings, Riley's emotional state, how you know just riley's family her friends anytime he got on stream and derided her gaslit her teased her never stopped arguing kept bickering kept being petty would never move on would never just let bygones be bygones on stream he never considered that once then obviously the internet picked up on it started obviously teasing them both but in general it's his own decisions it's his inability to stop being a fucking dweeb on camera and to stop being so argumentative that has led to the issues that they're currently having on stream. Nothing to do with the fucking commenter. Obviously, some people online with the TTSs aren't the nicest, but you could always turn it off. He doesn't need to have his girlfriend on camera all the time. She doesn't want to be on camera. He, put, he turns the camera on all the time. He goes into a reaction. He doesn't let stuff go. He doesn't listen to even his own stream chat takes the piss out of him and tells him to leave the girl alone he doesn't leave her alone but now that she's run away and she's showing signs that she might leave he's suddenly now considering her feelings who wants to deal with the stress of all the other bullshit it's like no more randoms no more weirdos no more crackheads just respectable human beings <laughs> it's it just like yeah I'm not going to be bringing anyone over there, basically. Other than, like, very, very close friends, you know what I mean? Like, unless it's, like, you're, like, Popo, House Phone, Blasi, Paul Lord. But, like, I don't know, someone, like, actually fucking, like, know. It's, like, I'm not going to... If I was living by myself, it'd be fuck it. You know what I mean? It'd be, like, fuck it. But it's, like, I'm not living by myself. It's, like, I don't want Riley to fucking deal with with fucking the bullshit that like you know my streams can bring along with it and it's just like i'm like bro no that's not that's not cool <clears throat> who wants to deal with the stress of all the other bullshit it's like no more randoms no more weirdos no more crackheads just respectable human beings <laughs> Now he doesn't want to invite randoms to his house. Now no more randoms or weirdos are allowed at the Yori household. And it's too little too late. It's just too little too late. He should have done this a long, long time ago. He didn't. And now his relationship is maybe, maybe on the rocks. And this is why he's decided to make this change. But it literally might be a little bit too late. It literally might be a little bit too late. It really, really, really might be a little bit too late. Um, but there's also some really interesting hints here. So what's going on? Um, this is another post here, courtesy of the No Jumper subreddit, where Yuri kind of crypti cryptically hints that there is an update that's concerning Riley and the future of the stream happening very, very soon. He hasn't spoken about it, but I do get the feeling that something has happened behind the scenes where maybe she's told him, hey, if I'm going to come back, I've got some conditions and here they are. 
so let's play this clip because I feel that this one's another interesting one to kind of round out what's going on with these two fucking losers. Uh, I might be able to update you guys like with, with, with what's happening like on, on Instagram. I just don't feel comfortable saying it now because I don't know how people are going to feel. Why not just not say it at all? So he wants to update people on Instagram because maybe he feels like the Instagram community is smaller. You won't get a lot of people clipping it. But the need for friendship or the need to share your updates of your relationship or your current status of your streams with people that you don't know is bizarre anyway in the first place. And if you've got to a point now where your girlfriend had to move away um, to kind of get away from you in a way, had her family step in and now your relationship is really at, je on, uh, you know, at jeopardy. Why don't you just like forget updating the fucking stream? They don't you don't owe them anything. Just do a relationship separately, sort out the stream separately, and keep it moving. But he doesn't. He wants. He wants everything. He wants to be able to stream with his girlfriend online. He wants to be able to have real experiences, argue with her, tease her, drive her fucking crazy, and then have the chat, laugh and go to this girl and make her feel like nothing, and then everyone fucking loses. But this is a surefire sign to me that the relationship is on fucking tender hooks, and most more than likely you know it's not gonna fucking last that long really and i don't think he realizes it to be fair he's probably very very delusional about the whole thing but the fact that she went away and hasn't really made an effort to come back it's a sign that you know it's not a good sign um these are the memes people have been sharing on the no jumper subreddit this is a fucking great one by the way look what this person shared it's a post um that features uh yuri driving to san francisco as you can see there and in the next post, <laughs> Riley's face kind of scared that he's going to arrive very, very soon. Oh, no. Oh, fucking no. Yuri's fucking coming. And in the next post, an illustration <laughs> of Yuri with that horrible new haircut that he has. And Riley looking very, very distraught in that fucking you know, artistic in interpretation of what she would look like when she sees Yuri with that new trim coming through her house door in san francisco absolutely shocking state of affairs sad to see but it's also proof it's also proof that maybe all of that gaslighting all of that horrible behavior has an end point you can't just fuck around you know and fuck over you can't just fuck around like that with your girlfriend forever and her family not notice and it'd be okay eventually it will come to a point where someone some grown-ups will step in and they'll be like you know what enough is enough we can't have this guy you know making our daughter look fucking crazy out here we can't be having it we really can't be having it and it looks like the end is about to come for those two and to be honest he deserves it he fucking deserves it it's funny too because he was the one that was gloating online talking about oh man everyone wants my girlfriend everyone wants her it's like well you won't even have her in a minute if you don't fuck if you don't fix up even you won't have her so <laughs> you better fucking get yourself in order mate because you keep gloating that you've got this girl that you think everyone wants but now she's fucking run away and you might not have her at all and there's another update here a very interesting update look at this update anyone notice riley has unfolded blousy and house phone so allegedly again i don't know how much i believe this because no jumper subreddit people are very devious so i'm not sure how much i believe this because who actually keeps an eye on fucking riley's followers like that's i don't know i'm a little bit losery with this you know coverage anyway of these fucking redacts but i don't know if there's anybody out there that's really fucking you know inspecting who fucking riley g follows and doesn't follow but someone did allegedly according to the no jumper subreddit um and they said you know beforehand she was following blasey and house no her followers were our blasey and house phone um or blasey at least and now she doesn't follow any of those so i don't know if she'd never followed them and they always followed her but it looks like she doesn't follow either Blasio or House phone. I don't know. Again, this could be nothing or something. Who knows? But the fact that Yuri's out in LA now, basically stalking his current girlfriend, is making me believe that there's maybe some truth into it. And the fact that Yuri's been acting so coy about what's going on, he's not really mentioning Riley's name too much. Or no, he's not really mentioning too much details about what Riley's up to and shit. Is making me believe that maybe something has occurred and something's gone on. And maybe Riley's like, you know what? Fuck all your friends. Fuck everybody you hang around with. Fuck your community. Fuck everybody. I fucking hate them. Which might have to do with what's going on here. But some of the memes are fucking brilliant. Look at this meme. 
um, Yuri snuck into Riley's window and now he's hiding underneath her computer desk and it's got an illustration or a, you know a, a AI kind of generated image of Yuri under a desk holding a knife with some rope and shit ready to fucking abduct <laughs> his current girlfriend which is hilarious the memes on fucking Yuri are fucking brilliant with this whole fucking affair um, there's even this post too which is really fucking petty I'm not too sure if this is in line what's going on but Adam22 posted on his Instagram story and tagged Riley he put the stalking hotline he took a screenshot of the stalking hotline and tagged Riley Yuri's girlfriend on there um, help <laughs> help create a stalking safety plan here we're here to support you call us at 1-800-7999-SAFE fucking hilarious so everybody's kind of leaning into this current meme that's going on that Yuri drove all the way to San Francisco to stalk and maybe abduct um his fucking you know his fucking current girlfriend or maybe ex-girlfriend or maybe try and recover the relationship and there's another post as well that said 1 20 a.m riley g stopped replying at 11 30 p.m and it features a picture of fucking Yuri in the airbnb doing shots again i know some of you guys do this i know some of you guys do this and i mentioned for the stream but it's something very pussified and almost bitch made about taking your shots like this yuri's standing up and he's taking a shot um with one hand and he's got the chaser in another hand like because he can't handle the aftertaste i'm assuming and he's literally holding both up to his face like he's going to be sipping them from both corners of his mouth i think that's such a pussified lame dorky way of fucking taking a shot if you're going to take a shot take the fucking shot if you're going to do the chaser do the chaser but having them both right up close to your mouth is like fucking hell how much of a baby can you be but again maybe i'm being a little bit too picky and redacted about that myself who fucking knows that's a really good meme and there's another one too i want to show you um which is this particular one again big up the snow jumper subreddit people once more this is a really funny one this is someone taking a screenshot of the latest yuri stream which is currently on youtube by the way yuri is not on kick exclusively anymore because he got kicked off the kick incentive creator plan like a fucking idiot he was making good money from that shit but he got kicked off it because of a dumb mistake that he made where i think on the kick incentive plan where you get paid per hour you're not allowed to do sleeping streams they don't count the streams if you do do that you get kicked off immediately and obviously yuri did it because he's a fucking loser and lazy and now he's complaining and now he's back on youtube essentially and the caption says yuri can't even afford an airbnb he's staying in a home of a random dude who called popo so you know you know when yuri was going around the country traveling with riley flexing on everybody on the internet acting like they were balling out going and staying in all these amazing airbnb so nice hotels well he can't do that anymore now he's staying with some random dude who he looks like he in a hostel and you know the whole fucking climate of that stream has completely changed so um you know stormy times ahead for rory so stormy times ahead for yuri and riley and you know what it probably can happen to a better couple and um i hope it all kind of ends in fucking fire flames to be fair because they'll be fucking fun for me to watch and for me to talk about with you lovely people on the stream